Welcome to another 90 second website builder video tutorial. You know making a link or a hyperlink is one of the most common things you'll do when you're designing your website and I'm going to show you how to do this in 90 second website builder. Hi again this is Greg Hughes. Let me show you that you can turn a text or image or just about anything you can draw with the drawing tools into a link very very easily or sometimes called a hyperlink of course. Let's start with using some text. I'm going to scroll down the page and pick some random text here and show you how it works. All you have to do is select the text. Here I've got a text object that is several lines. and I'm just going to select a little bit of the text. I can select anything from one character, a whole word, a whole phrase, or even the whole object if I want to. But I'm just going to select this much text and turn that into a link or a hyperlink. There's a couple ways I can do it. I can hover my mouse over the selected text, right click, and go to link. Or another way I can do that is I can select the text and just go up here to the link button and click this. And when I do, it brings up the insert hyperlink window. Same thing would have happened if I would right click and go to link. This window comes up. Now here's how you make a link. First of all, I have to decide what kind of a page I want to link to. Do I want to link to a page within the project? If so, I just simply leave this setting and go select the page that I want to link to. So if I wanted to link this text to one of my internal pages, I hit select, choose the page I want to link to, click OK, and click OK again and I'm done. Now this would link to an internal page. We'd have to publish or preview the site to see that. Let's do another one. I'm going to select some more text here. This time I'll right click, go to link, and you'll see it brings up that same properties window. And instead of linking to a page in the project, I can also link to an external web address. This time I wouldn't choose from a list of pages because I'm linking to an outside domain. So I'd simply type it in. All I have to do is click OK. I've literally created a hyperlink to an outside website. And now if we were to preview and click this, we could see that work. But let's move on. I'm going to do it again. This time I'll select this text, right click, create the link. Another kind of link that I can create besides pages, I can actually link to an email address. And what this does, this is actually technically, this is called a mail to hyperlink. And what I would do is I would put my email address in this and click OK. And what happens is if somebody were to click on this link when this site is published, it would bring up that end user's email client. For example, Outlook or whatever they use to send email. It would put my address, greg at 90secondwebsitebuilder.com, in the address field, and they'd be able to send me an email. So it's just a quick way to have your end user click a button and bring up their email account so they can send you an email. This is a link you might want to add to maybe uh, an email icon, maybe a picture of an envelope or something like that. You've probably seen those on websites. Let's do it again. Let's make a link out of this text. I select it, right click, go to link. This type of link is really special. I can actually link to a file of any kind on my website. Now this is really handy because sometimes people ask me, now how do I make a link to a download like an ebook or a PDF? Well this is exactly how you do it. You simply make a link like we've been doing, only you select link to a file. Then you tell the software what file you want to link to from your computer. So for example, if I wanted to create a link to an ebook that I had, PDF, I simply find that PDF on my computer. I'll do that now. So here's a PDF called the Quick Start Guide. Click on it, open. And now what I've done is I've told the software that when people click on this text link, I want it to open up an ebook called QuickStartGuide.pdf. And what the software is going to do when we save this and publish it, it's actually going to upload this PDF along with the rest of my website. This PDF now becomes part of my website structure and it's linked to the text that I created the hyperlink for. So you can see that was a very simple process. I'm simply making a link to a file, telling the software what file I want to link to, and then it will be uploaded the next time I publish to my web hosting account. Very simple. There's one other kind of link. Let me show you how that works. So let me grab some more text right click, go to link. Now this is really unique. What you can do with this kind of link, it's called a smart link, and there are several kinds of smart links. 
sometimes you might want to break your website into parent or child pages. And if you have done that, then you can link to the next parent page or the next child page. Or you can make a smart link to the next page in the series of your website pages. And the series is determined over in the site manager. As you list your pages in the site manager, this will determine which one is the next page and which one is the previous page. So a good use for this might be, say you have an image of an arrow that's pointing to the right. Well, you might make a smart link to the next page and then that tells the software to create a link to whatever the next page is in your site manager. Same thing with previous. If you already use, say, a previous arrow, an image that's pointing to the left, then this tells the software when someone clicks on this particular image or this particular link, take them to the previous page in the site manager. That's how a smart link works. Now the back smart link would take the user back to whatever page they came from, even if it wasn't on your website. So if they came to your page from, say, Google, and they clicked the back button, it would take them back to Google. So you can even control that part of your user's experience. Another kind of smart link is the ability to close the user's browser if you want to. So you might make a close box or have some kind of image that indicates they're closing their window and you could control that. You could also, and this is really handy, say you had a picture of a printer or a piece of text that says print the page. When the user clicks that link, the smart link literally sends the page to their printer so they can print it out. This could be really handy. You can even help the user refresh their browser or in other words reload the page by making a smart link that does just that. So when they click on the image or the text that you've linked to, this would refresh their page and give them a fresh view of the page they're looking at. It's a very, very cool trick. So as you can see, there's a lot of different kinds of smart links. In fact, there's a lot of different kinds of links that you can make, but they're very, very easy to make in 90 Second Website Builder. So now let's make a hyperlink using an image instead of text. So I'm going to close this and let's go find an image. Here's a nice little penguin. I can make a link from this image. Again, I can right click and go right to link, or I can double click on the image and bring up the image properties. Part of the image properties is a tab called link where you'll see the familiar link settings. And again, I can link this image to a page in the project, to an external website, email address, all the same settings we had. So let's link this image to an external website, and I'll show you. So let's say I want to link to 24-7 Web Talk, but I also have control over how that window opens up. That's called the target window or frame, and that's down here. The default is it just opens in the same browser window, but I can change that. If I want, I can have this window open up in a new browser window. The reason for doing that is because I might want somebody to go see another website without leaving my website. So then they would have two browser windows open, one with my website and one with the new browser window. You could also do that with a pop-up window, which is really handy if you want to open up that website address in a smaller window and control where it lands. Let me show you how that works. So if I have this image open up to this website in a pop-up window, I can decide how that window looks. So for example, I can say, I want that window to open up, oh, let's say 100 pixels from the left and maybe uh, 100 pixels from the top. And I want that window to be, let's say, 800 pixels wide and 500 pixels high. I can also decide when that pop-up window opens if it should show a menu bar, toolbar, location bar, status, etc. I can decide all of that here. I'm going to click OK, and we're going to test this. What I've done is I've created a link with the little penguin image. It's going to open up an external web address, 24-7 Web Talk, in a pop-up window with these settings. So let's click F5 to preview the work and watch what happens. So here's this page in a browser. I'm going to scroll down so we can find the penguin. Here he is. And when I click it, so watch what happens when 24-7 Web Talk opens up. It opened up 100 pixels down, 100 pixels over, and this window is 800 by 500. I determined that in my target size. So I've basically opened up another website for my user. And then they would just close the browser here when they're done. So you can see that you have full control over all of your hyperlinking, not only where your user goes, but in this case, even how that window opens up because of all of the control you have of the target window frame. So that's something you can play with because there are several settings here to mess around with. 
Now, one last thing before we go. You have to remember that when you're linking to an internal page, you want to make sure that when you preview, you preview your entire website. And you do that up here at File, Preview Bout Browser, and Preview Entire Website. Otherwise, when you click F5 or you preview, it will just open up that one page. So if you're testing your links from page to page, you want to make sure you turn this on so you can preview your actual links. That won't be true if you're testing links to external websites because it will actually just take you there as you saw a few minutes ago. If you're testing a link to say a PDF, you'll have to actually publish it so that the PDF ends up on a server and they can test that download link. So as you're making links, depending on what kind it is, you can test them either in preview or sometimes you'll have to publish. But either way, you can see that making links is really, really easy to do. As you know, creating links on your website is a very, very common thing to do. And as you can see, we've made it a very simple thing to do as you're building your websites with 90 Second Website Builder.